Hi friends, I'm Amy from Amy's Cooking Channel. Today I am preparing samosa. To prepare samosa filling, these are the ingredients. Minced chicken meat, 100 grams. Two potatoes chopped. One onion chopped. Red chili. Slice in pieces, ginger, one inch, inches, five garlics, yes, salt, one teaspoon, cinnamon powder, one teaspoon, chopped curry leaf, one stock. Okay, very good. Again, put ginger and garlic a bit. in oil one to two tablespoon eh? that's my normal measurement of pouring oil into the pan and now what I'm going to do I'm going to throw in the onion onion Mix it now. Saute them well, yeah, until golden brown. Add in the ginger and garlic. Yep. I add in the ginger and garlic. Huh? And also the red chili. Saute them well. My pastry is done, and so I'll show you how to do the folding after preparing this filling. Uh, after preparing saute and preparing the chicken filling, yeah. yeah. It's still cooking, let it cook. I'm going to throw in the chicken, minced chicken, eh, into the pot. Also adding in Baba's curry powder, one tablespoon. Yeah, one tablespoon. 
Saute. It's okay because I never added much of water, so it's fine. When you add in a lot of water and you add in the curry powder, the taste is different. So now you can saute them well and let it cook at the same time. Add in salt. Salt, yes, one teaspoon. Mixed up cinnamon powder to give a good smell of the chicken. Hmm, smells good. And throw in the curry. Let it cook well. I add in a bit of vinegar, mushroom seasoning and salt. And it's ready right now. Now I get prepared with the pastry. I'm taking the filling into the bowl. Eh? Yeah. Isn't it nice to see? Cut the potatoes small as possible will be nice. But still it can be added nice to the filling. Mm. Now to wrap, this is the glue. I mean I it's a flour, not yuhu gum or anything. Just add in a bit to get a paste, right? To rub over to glue the sides of the pastry. Just add in flour. Doesn't matter, huh? no need to see the measurement. Just add in flour a bit and mix with what dilute with water. There. And so now what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a proper piece of this pastry square rectangle shape. Yes, I'm going to put it this way. Yep. And turn it again into another square. Right? You see? It became a little pocket over here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in the filling inside the pocket. Oops. Into the pocket. The method I have already shown, my little small grandson is prepared the dough. He prepared the dough. Yeah. And what you have to do the next is closing a bit. Yeah. into a nice shape yes. you put some glue the fly over here and turn it over The little samosa. So that? Yeah. The next 
it all come out from the pastry, the filling. I'll take this. Yes. You see? It's a beautiful samosa. You can prepare the filling only with vegetables like potatoes and carrots. Like what we I say, we are not vegetarian. We do eat meat and fish. So as for kids, they love meat. So yes. Three. The next. Oil deep frying, eh? It's a very slow fire. It's nice for a very good tea or morning breakfast. When it's golden brown, you can remove the samosa from the pot. Yeah, it's frying very fast. Very good. Golden brown. Don't over fry and it burns, it's not nice. It won't be tasty. I just prepared few only for the video. I keep in form of pastry for tomorrow. Breakfast for my grandson. Yeah. Golden brown, just remove it from the stove. It's nice. How is it? Ale? It's very nice. Mm. It's a good tea time snack. It was a very hard work for my grandson making the pastry in the morning. And please do try this recipe. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.